Red Dead Revolver is the first Western game from Rockstar San Diego. It kickstarted what is now a franchise of games after being followed up by Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. The story told in Red Dead Revolver is however not canon to the series as a whole, and therefore its protagonist, Red Harlow, isn't involved in the plot of either of the Redemption titles and is solely in Red Dead Revolver. Which is funny, because of the three protagonists of the series, Arthur, John, and Red, Red is the only one who doesn't die in his story of the game. So there must be something special about him, so let's dive in and find out just who is Red Harlow. The story of Red Harlow as told in Red Dead Revolver takes place at some point in the 1880s. He was born the only child of a prospector named Nate Harlow and a Native American woman named Falling Star, who is the daughter of Running Moon, who is the chief of the Red Wolf tribe. This makes Red Harlow half Native American and the grandson of the chief. The only other family we know of Red is his cousin, Shadow Wolf, also a member of the Red Wolf tribe. At a young age, shortly after his father returns home from a successful prospecting journey, he is given his father's old trusty six-shooter. Much to his mother's annoyance, he practices his shots on their pots and pans from the kitchen. On this same day, the Harlow homestead is raided by bandits led by a man named Darren. Red tries his best to kill all of the men, but unfortunately, both his mother and his father are killed. In an act of revenge, he reaches into a smoldering pile of embers to grab his father's gun and shoots Darren's arm off, severely burning his own palm before making an escape. Several years later, Red has found work as a bounty hunter and has become extremely proficient with his gun. This is the appearance of Red that we as an audience grow to know. He wears a bluish gray jacket with brown pants, a bandolier over his right shoulder, a long dusty scarf, and a torn cowboy hat. Accompanying his scarred hand, he also has some pretty gnarly facial scars as well that we don't really know the full story behind. After dispatching a local game led by one bloody Tom, he takes their bodies to the nearest town of Widow's Patch for payment. Instead of payment, he is met with another outlaw running the town, named Ugly Chris, so he kills them too, but unfortunately the sheriff gets injured in the process, requiring them to travel to Brimstone, one, to heal the sheriff, and two, to get Red his money. Once in Brimstone, he is offered up several more bounties by Sheriff Bartlett, first Pig Josh, and then Bad Bessie, and then finally, Mr. Black. Sitting on a good amount of gold owed to him, he decides to cash out. Unfortunately, the sheriff informs him that the town's gold shipment has not arrived yet, and he is instructed to go to the bank and sort it out with the banker. Even though unfortunate for the bounty hunter, it was a blessing in disguise, as he starts to learn some information about Golden Bear Mountain, a man with one arm, and a treacherous coward who sold out his father. And in the course of extracting some more information that he needed, Red gets himself arrested by Sheriff Bartlett for causing a brawl in the local saloon but he is released once he agrees to take out one Javier Diego. A former general of the Mexican army, but now an operator of a gold mine in Bear Mountain, using slave labor of captured prisoners, including soldiers from the Union Army, but also the man who is responsible for getting Red's parents killed. In pursuit of Diego, he not only kills him, but he also kills Darren, the now one-armed man who murders his parents, and he finds the man responsible for selling out his father in the first place. Turns out that that man is now the governor, Governor Griffin. So he sets forth to kill him as well, which he succeeds at, before leaving Brimstone to never return again. This is a heavily summarized version of the story. My prior video on Red Dead Revolver goes much more into depth if you're into all that. Red is known in legend for his composure. He is always cool, calm, and collected, even when faced with dire conflicts. After his parents' death, he spent years searching for those responsible, doing good work of taking out bounties in the process in the hopes of gathering information. He does at some point have a dog companion until it's killed by the gang of Ugly Chris in Widow's Patch, where Red quickly draws his pistol to avenge the animal. When it comes to humans though, he isn't quite as friendly, even though he always does the right thing in the end. 
On one of his bounty hunts for Pig Josh, he comes across a captured man named Jack Swift, who asks him to free him, where Red responds, You ain't my problem and continues to walk away before ultimately freeing him to help fight circus clowns. When fighting alongside his cousin, Shadow Wolf, to kill Colonel Darren, Shadow Wolf dies in the fight. Red takes Shadow Wolf's knife and plunges it into Darren's chest, attributing the kill to his late cousin. And at the end of the game in Revolver, Sheriff Bartlett offers Red a 5,000 bounty payment, $130 in today's money, for taking out Diego and Griffin but he refuses and tells him to give the money to Annie Stokes and Buffalo Soldier, because as always, it never was about the money. Although he doesn't appear in any other game, there are plenty of rumors and stories about the events of Red Dead Revolver in both Red Dead Redemption games. If you cozy up to the right people at a campfire, they will start to talk about the legend of Red Harlow. So maybe he does exist in the Redemption world, or maybe it's all just legend. You heard of that Red Harlow fellow? He was one of those men. Stood up to every man who blocked his path, Mexican army included. Nearly cost him his life, but he did. Red is also a playable character in the multiplayer expansion for Red Dead Redemption called Legends and Killers, alongside some other Revolver characters like Jack Swift, Shadow Wolf, and Pig Josh. There are also a handful of rumors out there that Red Harlow is in fact uncle from Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. There is a lot of supposed proof of this, such as you never know uncle's real name, the age lines up for the time of the games, and uncle tells stories in the Redemption games that are eerily similar to Red's story in Revolver, like arriving in a new city at the age of 9 after your parents recently died, or being called the one-shot kid in his youth. But this has never been confirmed by developers and it's all just a theory. There is a good video on all this by Hound X Royals that goes into great detail about it. Needless to say, what we do know about Red Harlow is that he's a straight up badass. Whether he was real or a made up bounty hunter, we may never know. But the story of Revolver is a fantastic one for what it is. As much as I'd love the Uncle Theory to be true, most of the evidence given is vague and not super uncommon stories for people to tell in the late 1880s. People's parents died all the time due to illness, injury, or murder. And boasting about firearm skill is something that men still do today. Also the fact that Red has some pretty severe facial scars and Uncle has none makes the theory pretty broken in my opinion. But still, Red Harlow, wherever he ended up after the Tales of Revolver, was certainly still a badass, and I hope that he lived a great life after avenging his parents' death. But that's all the lore that we have as of today, and that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Peace. Batman's arm. How'd he lose his arm? We ain't telling you nothing, stranger near as I can tell, we ain't even talking to you. <laughs> Take a walk. Answer my question and I'll be on my way. Well, shut up. Don't tell the stinking prairie dog nothing. <laughs> ain't that right, Sam? I reckon so. Say goodbye, mister.